Okay, so here we have a plastic pipe has a inner diameter, uh, sorry, inner radius. Let's say it's A, and then outer radius is B. Then electric charge is uniformly distributed over the region uh, between A and B. So I have to say that charge is distributed between A and B. Let's say this is all charges, okay? Equal distributed. Uh, then uh, charge density is given, so sigma is given. Then A is given, let's say B is given. You have to calculate the electric field. Uh, electric field, let's say uh, R1. R1 is basically uh, just inside this hollow, okay? Then we have to find electric field R2, which is from the center up to this region okay r2 then you have to find finally r3 which is outside of the cylinder so how can we find it that those things uh okay so first of all uh electric field in r1 is equal to zero why because there's no charge inside this inside the hollow okay this is clear, there's no charge, so electric field is equal to zero. Now, what about R2? R2 at, at any distance of, let's say, is this one, okay? So what? that's what we wanna find, what is electric field at this point, so E, R2. So how can we find that one? Uh, first of all, we know the formula of the flux, so the flux is equal E A is equal Q in close divided by epsilon naught. Okay. Uh, we have to draw a imaginary Gaussian surface. So the area of that one. So if you take this ar uh, and cut it, so what you will get is basically you'll get such such a sheet. Okay. So this will be the height. This is the length. Will be two pi r. Okay, so then area will be equal to pi r h. That means we can say that electric field area is equal to pi r h. It's equal to q in closed divided by epsilon naught. Okay, now in our case, we have a uh, volume charge density, which is a rho. Okay, the rho is given. The, the rho is equal total charge divided by the volume. Okay. Now, how can we find the, the, the what what is the formula of finding the volume of hollow cylinder? So for that one, we have a formula. The volume uh, to find the volume of the hollow cylinder is equal to the uh, pi h is a the height, then b squared minus a squared. Okay, so outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. Okay, then now we want to find. Uh, Okay, uh, then from here we can find the Q. Q is equal to rho times pi h. Now, uh, uh, let's make it like this one. R outer radius squared minus R inner radius squared. Okay, let's make it outer. Okay, so then we can just plug it here, this thing into here. Then let's see what we get. So we'll get electric field is equal Q in close divide by 2 pi r h epsilon naught now for the q we can plug rho pi h uh, r outside squared minus r inside radius squared divided by 2 pi r any radius r okay between uh, inner and outer radius okay then let's h epsilon naught so we can here see that h will cancel h, pi will cancel pi. Then finally, uh, we're getting a formula for the R2 will be equal to the rho R outside squared minus R inside squared divided by 2R. Okay. Now, uh, this R outside and the R is that's what we're going to find it okay so therefore we can say that finally rho now 
this will be the r2 squared because this is we want to find electric field at r2 distance minus r in uh initial squared divided by 2 r2 or we can say it's equal to the rho r2 squared minus r i with was what uh a right so let's plug it a here a squared divided by 2 r2 okay uh this is a electric field at a distance of r2 okay now how can we find electric field at outside of the a cylinder hollow cylinder again we uh, use this formula uh, this is our formula so that means we can say that e at the distance of r3 which is outside of the hollow cylinder is equal to the rho now the the limits of our cylinder is basically uh, r outside so outside radius is actually b squared minus a squared divided by 2 r 3 okay where you have now you have to plug the numbers and once you plug numbers you should get the answer